I, uh, yeah, I mean, you, you have to be, I mean, yeah. to be an entrepreneur, my, my view is that, um, with, with technology and, and, and you know, you, you think about like farming or agriculture, you know, an older industry and rural and everything else, uh, you're starting to see these things creep into into these markets. And, and there's only positive that can come from that yeah. as far as I'm concerned. I mean, it's positive for the, for the farmer if we can help it. Um, but it's gonna, ultimately going to be positive for the consumer, for the people who live in the communities and everything else. So I, I'm in, tremendously optimistic. I, I think people, all, all of these... And the other thing I'm optimistic about is that um, I've been thrilled with the kinds of people that we can attract to a business like this. Ah, people right? want to come work there. Silicon Valley people? Yeah. I mean, uh, brainiacs, right? People yeah. who can go work anywhere and can do anything. Um, they want to come work on helping farmers. Right. And they want to come work on helping feed the world. And that, to me, is um, uh, very inspiring. And I think if that keeps happening, then a lot of problems are going to get solved. And I think it's one of the nice things about this millennial generation. They get derided yeah. for a lot of things, and probably yeah. fairly um, in some cases. But the fact that they would find it very um, uh, uninspiring to make a ton of money making Google's you know, ad network or Facebook's ad network six, you know, bips more efficient yeah or you know make the the 27th snapchat filter you know <laughs> to get engagement up by you know one yeah. percent the fact that they would find that to be death and just not inspiring and want to go do something that makes the world better it gives me hope because the big problems we face are not the 17th filter on instagram or the making more people deceptively click on google ads because they keep moving the ad logo around yeah we want to see people actually work on things that matter. So you have job openings, I take it, all this a money lot. in the bank. We, we have 100 people right now in FBN. We're growing to 200 over oh, the wow. next year. So got you got to add two people a week, three yeah, people a week. Well, yeah, and, and, um, you know, and to do that and then have them also be a mission fit with the business right. is a immense challenge. I mean, the talent, You guys pay well, though. You, we, we, pay well. we pay well, and, and uh, we want to pay well, but we... Uh, we have a high bar on talent, but more importantly, we have a high bar on the mission. Like, like somebody has to be mission oriented to join the business. Smart. And it makes so, it easier to manage them. They don't have to worry about like waking up and motivating them. Yeah, and you you screen for that, right? Yeah. So how, how do you are screen we going to that? What's the question you ask? Um, you know, it's usually not about a question you ask. It's about observations you make ah. um, in, in terms of their behaviors. It's just a simple, you know, simple way to look at. Um, you know, kind of the, the channels they come in through mm -hmm. um, is a good one. Like, for example, uh, we've done incredibly well with referrals here. Because it turns yeah. out, like, mission-oriented people, they all go hang out with mission-oriented people. Of course. So, you know, these, these really smart younger people who work for us, they, they're referring other people in the company. I, I've got so many instances of that happening, and that's always a, a really good check. You um, like the missionary over the mercenary. I absolutely do. That's, that's a this great line. This is how I line. tell it. I look at the... I look, when, I, when they're asking me about this paragraph in their employment agreement and overtime yeah. and the, you know this and that and all these like things it's not about like the mission like you know how are we going to inspire entrepreneurs to take on bigger challenges like we need people who are mer uh, not mercenaries the mercenaries yeah. literally they get in there and then they're like oh wow i've increased my skill set i'm really really good with the sword i wonder if somebody else would pay me more to cut off heads and yeah. it's like i really don't need that like it's just i mean you, you do need a mercenary once in a while to go do something for you but God, you got to be careful with them because they'll swing the sword at you next. Yeah, and this is um, they'll go work for Monsanto. Yeah, try to kill this you. Is a culture. I, I, so we, we got to. How are we going to hire this many people who actually fit the profile? Boy, we got to rely on our existing employees to be good ambassadors for the business. I am so excited uh, to have Era Eero. I was pressing Eero the other day, but it's Eero, like an ear. Eero, um, which is the world's first home mesh Wi-Fi system. If you don't have it. It is unbelievable. Mesh basically means the routers, and you buy them in like three packs, uh, work together to blanket your apartment or house with Wi-Fi. I use it, and I have to tell you, Mesh is just a game changer. With a simple iOS or Android app, um, Eero just blankets your home. It's perfect. It works. I love the product. It's one of those game-changing products that once you use it, you're like, oh, my God, I'm not having this. Uh, debate with the members of my family as to like, why isn't the Wi-Fi working here? Why is the Wi-Fi, why is Netflix slow? Why is this? Thing? Everything just starts to work amazingly. It's so reliable. And they've got a special offer for this week in startups listeners. You just go to eero.com and uh, at checkout, you select overnight shipping and enter the promo code twist and it will be free. Not the 
euro units, the shipping. Overnight shipping for free for This Week in Startups listeners. I guarantee you're going to love this product. EERO.com, EERO.com. Euro is the, it's probably the best thing for you to buy this Christmas for somebody uh, or for your home. It, literally all this nonsense with your family's Wi-Fi not working and all these different places in your house and people fighting over who's on Netflix, turn this off, reboot the router. It just goes away. Everything just works. It's the router that should have been built and it's the Wi-Fi system that should have been built a decade ago. But finally, here we are, year 15 of Wi-Fi. Euro has fixed it, and it works. 